Hey guys, this is Albert and here I have the Lenovo Y70 which is a high-end gaming uh, laptop from Lenovo and I've tested it in the past couple of weeks and taken a closer look at this Full HD 17.3 inch notebook which is aimed for gamers with a tight budget, let's say. So what we have in here is a Core i7 processor and a NVIDIA GeForce GDX 860M. So this should offer enough performance for most games that you would uh, like to play portably. But uh, this notebook isn't exactly portable when you take a look at it. So it is 17.3 inch and it is pretty heavy. So uh, I wouldn't like to carry this around for a few hours or just a few minutes because it is really really heavy. So it isn't like the portable device that you would like to carry around. Looking at the build quality, this is pretty great. So it has an aluminum build and on the front and on the back side and on the back uh, where the hinge is, it is, uh, it is built pretty good. Looking at the ports, you have this really great uh, Lenovo charging port and a gigabit LAN port, HDMI port and two USB 3.0 ports. On the right side, you have two 3.5 millimeter uh, ports for your headphones and for your microphone. Then you have a SD card slot and a 2.0 USB port as well as the Kensington lock. So let's open it, open it up and take a look at the keyboard which is backlit and you can change the brightness of the light by tapping on the spacebar with the FN key so this is pretty convenient. For, uh, this, uh, this keyboard isn't really great for gaming because the, the keys are pretty tight so when you take a look at it at them they haven't used the full width of the of a case and they should have done that because here you have the uh, the arrow keys in the uh, numlock keys and this isn't really convenient and it is like a bar they are no uh, special keys uh, which can be used in MMORPGs so this isn't really practical uh, and the touchpad is pretty good let's say. Uh, the gestures all are functioning so you can uh, pinch to zoom and this works pretty well. You can also scroll with it and it works pretty good. And it also has a touch screen but this isn't really used by any gamer because what games are you playing on a 17.3 inch from the Windows Store which are touch optimized? You won't be playing GTA San Andreas like like this so you won't be doing that and lol minecraft uh, or any basically any steam game isn't optimized for using it like that in touch mode so you would you would prefer prefer using a mouse or even your touchpad and your keyboard so looking at the performance you have to say the performance on on battery is pretty poor so you can play league of legends with 30 fps when uh, the device is unplugged. You can't play Dying Light because you'll have like 15 frames per second and so on. And if you plug it in you will have the full performance of the graphics card. So you will have like 33 frames per second on average on Dying Light. You will have 60 frames on League of Legends which is pretty impressive and should be like that. But Dying Light, you will have you will have to play Dying Light in mid settings and League of Legends in like um, well also not the highest uh, settings. So uh, this notebook isn't really thought to be played on battery, and you should consider plugging it in whenever you are somewhere and you are uh, you want to play some higher end games. So battery life is okay at best. So take a, take a look at this. We have this notebook on idle. We are not doing pretty much anything. The brightness is on highest and we have a battery life of 2 hours and 30 minutes. So this isn't real. What you will have on this notebook on highest brightness is at uh, when editing office documents or 
uh, browsing the web, you will have like two hours on highest brightness and maybe around three on mid brightness. And when playing a game, you will have uh, about one hour on maximum uh, when playing on highest brightness. And you would like to play on highest brightness because the keyboard is is mirrored in the screen when the brightness is lower. So maybe you can see it when I turn the brightness down that the keyboard, the keyboard's backlight is mirrored in the, the screen which is not good when you're gaming and when you're in darker areas, but, uh, for example in Metro or Dying Light where it is really important. And that is why you will have to basically play every game, like also Minecraft, when you're in a cave, for example, which is not lit that uh, greatly, uh, you will have to turn on the brightness to full. So no battery uh, saving on this notebook possible. Well, um, I think that's it pretty much uh, from my experience on the Lenovo Y70. This is the I think lowest end model, so we have a price around 900 euros and what we have here is a 500 gigabyte uh, what we have here is a 500 gigabyte uh, HDD and a 25 gigabyte SSD so you could install Windows on this SSD to get a better booting speed and 500 gigabytes isn't really enough for every gamer so probably you will have to to use an upgrade or use uh, or just upgrade the HDD yourself um, to one terabyte which I think should be possible when removing the screws here here and here so this should be possible but I wouldn't really recommend it I would opt for a higher end model with more storage space well that's it, that was the Lenovo Y70. Thank you very much for watching.